Hey guys, West Coast for Arachnids. Just thought I'd do a quick update on the uh, giant house spider that I bred last week. Um, it's it has, uh, as you can see, maybe not laid in a sack, egg sack. That's it hanging down there. It's actually made its own enclosure. It's taken the dirt and put it in its web and made itself a little tunnel there. You can see it hanging off the side of the the egg sac there. Um, this was the smaller of the two uh, giant house spiders. The egg sac's uh, pretty big. Um, about an hour ago, it uh, was about half that size. She had basically uh, wrapped the eggs and began to cover it from the bottom up with dirt. And it literally looked like an upside down head with hair on it, uh, with the dirt on the bottom. And now it's uh, completely finished and she's gone and wrapped the dirt all the way around the in inner egg sac and then r completely wrapped that in web as well. So it's quite, uh, it's quite neat. Um, I'm not sure how much you can actually see with this camera but it's shaky. You can actually see the egg sac uh, moving around in there. Let's see if I can get another picture of her. Try to get a little more light on her so I can show you. she is and she's been working on that uh, little house she's made for at least a week and a half so she may have been pregnant before I brought her into the house uh, but she did uh, actually mate with one of my spiders here so um, I'm not sure what the incubation time is on these eggs. I'm going to have to look it up and we'll see. I might just naturally let them hatch out and see what happens. I'm going to have to probably cover it with uh, some kind of cellophane or something and just poke some pinholes in the top so that the uh, Baby spiderlings don't take off on me, get all over the house. Neat to watch, but I don't want them crawling through my bed at night. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick update. And, uh, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye bye now.